New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola como estas? Yankees fans, I am quite under the weather still. But with that being said, who cares, right? Because James Paxton is your newest New York Yankee. Great pickup by the Yankees. Unfortunately, the Yankees traded away Sheffield. Swanson was a part of that deal. Williams was a part of that deal. But before fans question why the Yankees traded away Sheffield and all of these other players, it's because they fell off the radars of the Yankees, especially Sheffield. They didn't really have the height. They didn't really have the velocity. Long story put short, the Yankees thought Sheffield was an average pitcher. So, in my opinion, this is a great trade. I made videos last season, last offseason, about the Yankees making a trade with the Mariners for a King Felix or Paxton. A lot of you guys liked uh, Paxton. And Paxton is really that second-tier picture that the Yankees were missing. That picture that's not an ace, but could be an ace on and off. That can carry a team when he's hot. An intimidating pitcher, a flamethrower. You couldn't ask for anything more with the players that the Yankees gave up. One being, the Yankees have obviously traded away arms from their form. But this doesn't mean that the Yankees and Cashman don't have plans to acquire young studs via trade. One name in particular, James Kaprilian. I, for one... I think it's a 50-50 chance that Sonny Gray returns to the Oakland Athletics. And in return, you could bank on it that the A's are going to give Caprillion back in return. So yes, like I said, with this Paxton trade, I think the Yankees have other moves to make. I think for the people that are complaining about the Yankees trading away Sheffield, oh, the Yankees are trading away arms, etc. The Yankees are not finished. The Yankees still have to trade away Sonny Gray. And like I said, strong possibility that the Yankees get arms in return for Sonny Gray. Also, for the fans that are upset that the Yankees didn't go out and trade for Kluber. I mean, Kluber would be nice. But Kluber would be like uh, trading for Glavin or Maddox when they were about like 34 to 35 years old. I don't know how Kluber would have done or would do in New York. But definitely... Paxton was the better alternative because Paxton obviously didn't cost much. Going after Kluber would cost an Andahor, a Floreal, a Brayu, etc., etc. A Frazier, all of these players combined just to get a picture that who knows how he'll do in New York. With a flamethrower like Paxton, you could bank on it. He'll have good outings here in New York. And people keep forgetting that Paxton is a big lefty arm with upside. He's only going to improve. He's very similar to Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson didn't really find his stuff till later in his career. It's very similar with Paxton. So great pickup for the Yankees. Expect uh, future moves, obviously. Look out for uh, Corbin's price to drop as he's looking for a deal similar to you, Darvish. Obviously, we all know you was a flop, so teams aren't really going to offer Corbin that much. So expect his price to come down. I expect the Yankees to uh, sign Corbin. And that's a pretty good rotation. Severino, Paxton, Corbin, Tanaka. And if you want, you throw in uh, CC in there. I, for one, if I were the Yankees, I wouldn't even approach uh, half at this point. You brought back CeCe Zabathia. That'd be uh, two old pictures you have in your rotation. I'll go right ahead um, and wait for Corbin. Sign Corbin. He wants to be a Yankee. Yankees like Corbin. Wait for him. So, Yankees fans, like usual, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you like this trade? What other future signings and trades do you see? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Yeah,